Hi, beloved. In the Lord, my name is Emilia. This is Heavenly Host Vision with Lydia. I'm so glad to welcome you to another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. Some people are so panic. They are in panic. They are very much in panic. Why are they in panic? They are in panic because they have had a signal that you are about to leave their leak. Mm. They have got a signal that you are about to leave their leak. And this is not sitting well with them. You've given some people enough time to change. You've endured a lot from some people. This is some relatives, some friends. You give them enough time to turn away from your, from your wicked ways. You actually told them that it thinks things were going to end. But they thought that you were just joking. Because you had said several times that you were going to leave them behind. But they didn't believe you. Of course, you had said several times that you were going to leave. But you never left. Because one or two things were keeping you still uh, yoked with them. According to them, they felt that they had already put you where they want to see you. According to them, they thought they have the schemes to manipulate you. According to them, they thought that, oh, you have a lot entangled together with them that would prevent you from leaving. But of course, time has come for you to say goodbye. I mean, time came for you to say goodbye and they didn't believe it. They did not believe it. They didn't believe that you were going to leave them. They didn't believe that things were going to turn around. They didn't believe that you were going to let everything that you've got for them go. They didn't believe that you could surrender everything for your safety. They didn't believe that you could just give them all what you had and move on with your life. That was what you did. That was exactly what you did. You let everything behind and followed Christ. You left everything behind and follow your purpose. You left everything behind to follow the calling of God in your life. And they are so confused. They are so threatened. They are so afraid. Because you living is going to be crazy. You, you living has you know, created a vacuum. It has created a space that no one will be able to, to, to fill up. Yes. While you wanted them to change, it didn't change. They thought that, oh, they already had you figured out. They thought they could keep you for as long as possible. But they didn't know that God had another plan for you. They didn't know that there was going to be a time that you were going to like, okay, enough of this. I, enough of this. Lord, there is time for everything. You've served your purpose in your life and you've served your purpose in your life. It was just about time for you to part ways. And of course, you got the signal, but they didn't get the signal. You are seeing light, beloved, and there's no way, there's just no way. Before they were all light, before they were all doing great, before they were all doing wonderful things, and things were going so well. Mm -hmm. Along the line, they deviated. Because they deviated, they thought that, okay, I know you're going to be following along, you're going to be complying. They thought that you're going to be like, okay, let's just do things like that as usual. But you resisted them. You resisted the devil. You resisted a devil, beloved, and they didn't like it. In this case, they did not flee. <laughs> oh, God. In this case, they did not flee. They stood to resist you. But they said, okay, because they refused to, to flee, you are going to just go. And that is what, exactly what happened. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 6, verse 14. Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? What fellowship can light have with darkness? You are that light and the darkness. They, in fact, they are darkness. You are, the, you, are, you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And they are the unrighteous ones. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. You are so good. You are so kind. You are so wonderful. And you could not put, or put together with those demons, those evil spirits, those people that came to attack, that, that stood and set, that they were going to set you free. They didn't know that God was going to say, listen, it's time to separate. They didn't need to let you free. They didn't, they didn't need to set you free. You had to free yourself. Because God gave you a wisdom to free yourself. 
and they are so much in, they are so in panic right now because they don't know because you've really left their their league. Oh Jesus, they didn't know that you're gonna leave you're gonna be leaving their league. They thought that put all of you were all the same. They didn't know that you had a a, a, a different spiritual capacity. You have a different spiritual different spiritual space that you need to occupy in the spirit. You didn't belong there in the first place. You did not belong there. You were just trying and pulling together with them. You were just trying to, to buy time. You were just trying to like, wait. you were waiting on God to actually reposition you. And God actually showed you how he was going to position you. And of course, you went right there. You went right there. And it was not easy for you to even move to go to the place where God, you know, instructed you to go to. The Lord is with you and shall continue to strengthen you. Shall continue to open your eyes to know truth. Shall continue to grant you the grace to make the right decisions. In the name of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. God bless you so much and see you in the next. I have been a lady. Faith is our vehicle and love is our strength. Yes, they panicked because you wouldn't leave their leak. And some of you have really left their leaks. And some of you are said to leave. Uh, you have you, you you you've got the backings of God to do exactly what's right for your soul to prevail for your soul to have fulfillment in Jesus mighty name